What is up, guys? So, today I'm back with some good old GameCube. Just playing some uh, Animal Crossing and some. Oh, it's pretty good. I forgot I changed the time so that it would be daytime during the night. So that way I'd be able to actually sell stuff at the shop. Because <laughs> that's the only time I'm awake is at, at night time. You gotta work it out, Claude. Try and find those black shadows really around the wall. Hold on, somebody was talking about his house. I want to see. Somebody said he had an NES game in here. Somebody lied to me. Totally does not. That means maybe he has it in his inventory? I loaded this up earlier and I was just walking around pulling weeds and stuff. Just making sure the cords and everything worked. Oh, dude. That'll be a good fish by him. Good fish? No fish. One fish, two fish. Pull the weeds, fish. So yeah, I'm using my my hacked GameCube. I have two copies of the actual disc, but it's easier just to load it up like this. That way I don't have to risk my discs like getting messed up or something. And also like at the end of Resident Evil, like if it doesn't load or something. Just pop it right in here. I figured I played some GameCube tonight, I'm just gonna chill. So if this is money, I, I should keep it. Okay. Is it? It will not grow a tree right there. It's too close to the house and the other tree. Usually I replant it. But I get the whatever middle tree, but... I'm gonna have to do that in my free time, just go around and with all the weeds. Snapper? 
Oh, I gotta get him up there. Found a thin... S video cord for the... For the GameCube and the 64. Hey, what's up, Sunoko? My Animal Crossing buddy. Sounded weird, but I I had to totally um, get that S video cord because uh, you guys are watching over HD. But, uh, I'll be honest, there's not very much difference. Well, the the weird thing is, it's a thin one, so you think the you'd think the quality was off, but there's no interference or anything. But it's probably because all the power cables and everything I'm using are like really good quality. Like nothing to interfere with it. I had one before, like a long time ago. Yeah, I'm gonna look for one. Apparently, they're only like 25 30 bucks. Um, for like some of the, the purple ones, some people sell them for more, but um, I've, se I've seen them go for cheaper too. So many weeds in my town. I want to see if I can, now that I have this this hacked GameCube, if I can add Zelda and Mario Bros. <laughs> it's so stupid, because I could just play them on the actual NES. I just... Oh, damn. I don't know why I've been, like... You need an NES overdrive. I have an older one. I have one that's like 10 years old. But it sucks because sometimes the way they have the save states set on it, sometimes I'll be clicking the down button too quickly when I press select. It'll save over, or I'll reload or save over the progress or whatever. It's, it's a pain in the ass. I don't even want... I wish I could turn save states off on the NES. I don't even like that. I still need to get another Turbo Graphics um, EverDrive, one of the new ones. I think that's the next one I'm going to save for. And then I'm going to hack my hack my Dreamcast so I could just do the same thing with the. Dreamcast that I'm doing with the GameCube. Eventually, I'm going to get every console like that so I can play every game. So that way, I'm not tempted to buy expensive games unless I see them for cheap. <laughs> My friend got an analog pocket I tried yesterday. Oh, that's cool. I was going to hack my Switch, but then I saw how the emulators run in there, and I was like, oh, I'll wait till I get a Steam Deck to play all that stuff. Switch just doesn't have as much processing power. I check the shop. The screen is really nice with CRT filters and stuff, but handling handheld gaming is not for me. I like it sometimes, like uh, if you're at like a D and D session or just going over to somebody's house. But I kind of, I kind of agree with you for the most part. Or if you still smoke, because then you go outside and play the games. It kind of reminds me of like I have a bit of nostalgia for um. We're playing Pokemon back in the day. Oh, the D-pad was too small. That's how I feel about the GameCube controller, man. I feel like the original giant Xbox controller that people laugh at 
That one's like perfect for my giant chunky beastly viking hands. This GameCube controller is always like I don't know, it's just so like it just feels weird. Oh, I found the um I bought a TV in here yesterday. I I guess that was earlier today. I guess the time hasn't switched over yet. I'll show you. I found little little TVs. Oh, I got um. I don't know the last time I talked to you, but I got. I'm playing on a my my Sony Trinitron <laughs> that literally I thought it was messed up because I would plug in the the HD retrovision cables and I had like weird like interference. All it was was the tilt setting on the TV. You just have to turn it to negative five and then it worked properly. And then you just adjust the yoke from there. It's literally like a software issue. Yes, I know. I have to kill you. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. <laughs> Let's see how about these little little TVs, there's two of them, I was like, I have to buy these. Yeah, I never heard of it either. The, the reason I looked it up is because I was like, there's got to be something up with it, because I was looking at all the software stuff for my model of TV, and um, somebody talked about that. I guess it's like literally like a firmware software issue on the one of the models I have. Honestly, though, this TV is so good, like S video in here. I'm playing this on S video. I, I I'm looking at the HD. The colors are slightly brighter on the HD, but like, it's not that much. It's not that much difference. Oh no, they're mad at each other. I don't even own an umbrella. It's been snowing, raining here the last week or so. But... It just seems like it's more trouble than it's worth, right? Like, you get out of the car and then you have to open the umbrella. You're gonna get wet. You can't open the umbrella in the car. And then wherever you're going into, you have to close the umbrella. So unless it has an overhang, you're gonna get wet. I did some service mod adjustments to my 27 inch sharp TV. Nice. Yeah, this one I don't even think they used. Like, it needs. It needs some very slight adjustments in a couple ways. But. I'm one of those people that, like, I do that stuff for fun. But, like, when I'm playing games on it, I don't. I've been I've you I've used such shitty CRTVs over the years to play games. I don't even notice it until I go into the the thing with the grid and then I'm like, "Oh, but like it doesn't look that off to me." Like I I don't know how to explain it. Oh, nice. You rotated it. The sharps are good. If you get a chance, the the Panasonic I got. I think I talked to you about that one because you were saying that it was in arcade boards, but um, certain arcade machines. But that Panasonic I got was like real, like the colors on it are just. I, I think someone opened it out of the box and then just put it in storage. Like that. I don't think they would ever watch anything on there. Cause that TV is like mint. It's like having a Sega Astro City at home. Oh, nice. I don't know why I'm pulling weeds. 
Guess I'm looking for fossils. some convergence strips for the cars. Oh, that's easy. That's just some magnets. Magnets and tape. But again, I mean... If you need to. I suspect it was pretty heavily used and came from a smoker's. Oh, damn. You know, you know what the weird thing is? Because people are always saying that about smokers. I smoke, but I must not smoke as much as other people because I've never had, like, yellow weird shit all over my stuff. Or, like, like crazy, like, dust stuff everywhere. Like, people must be, like, just, like, smoking nonstop, like... Like chain smoking. We're talking thick back dust boomer chain smoke. Yeah. It's one of those things too where it's like like I don't do it all the time and when I do do it like a lot of the times I'll have the window open. I have some kind of ventilation going on. So it's not like staying in the room. I need, I need to I need to stop even a little bit that I do but <laughs> I don't I don't understand like my electronics have never that been that bad Oh a good example is the old house I lived in the guy before me smoked so much the walls were fucking yellow and we smoked too but like you could tell you could see like the walls had changed colors from the time he lived there to the time we moved in, it was like, it was like a dark yellow back to white. They must have watched everything on the set. Maybe, maybe they just sat there in front of that TV all fucking day and just smoked like nonstop like Marlboros or something. I'm so sorry. This must be so boring to watch me pick weeds. It's just like my little bit of OCD kicking in when I see them. I'm just like, ah. The funny thing is, too, I should be playing the new one on the Switch because I haven't got that far on it. Here I am playing the GameCube one again. Sometimes TVs have a hole in the back where you can adjust the two focus. But I think I gotta open it up. Oh yeah, if you do too, just make sure to build one of those, um... The thing where you tie the copper to the screwdriver, and then you tie the other end of the copper to the ground, and you tap it just to disable the electricity or whatever. And then, um... What I found works really good, this sounds kind of stupid, but if you get those yellow gloves, like the yellow dish gloves... Fuck, you can have the thing on. I was adjusting it with the thing on, it, it can't shock you. <laughs> you could feel it around you, though. <laughs> but it can't, it can't get you. That was on the, um, the NEC TV I have. That, some jack wagon before I got it basically ghetto capped it so i don't know what the original okay i didn't know what the original caps were i found a schematic for it online somewhere which is amazing but i have trouble reading the schematic so i need help with that um but that nec tv that was like a like a they used it for like shows and stuff for like photos that's that's 
probably one of my favorite TVs that I found. Well, and it's not even the serv the service manual. It's the um, it's the schematics manual. So it shows it laid out. Like I could figure it out. It's just gonna take me a long time, and I just haven't wanted to delve into it. Mostly because I had to move and the TVs in my friend's garage right now, but. picked up these two portable CRTs. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have a problem too. I was counting my number of TVs. I recently got a, a giant 3D TV from like 10 years ago for free, which is awesome. Because that thing's actually really good picture quality, but I wanted to pick up this wooden um, Zenith that I found um, for Atari games and Nintendo games. I have seven fucking TVs in my house and that's not counting the two that I have in storage right now. Little five inch guys. Nice. And it's like, I need to stop. Like there's a point where I just need to... <laughs> Dude, my first, uh, the first TV we had in our room was black and white. We would play, we hooked up the Genesis and we would play Shining in the Darkness and uh, Shining Force 2 on there. And it was amazing. Like, it sounds weird, but we didn't have... That was the second TV we had in our home. And, like, even without color, it was just, like... Being able to play the fucking game was just, like... It was awesome. Yeah, here in New York, thrift stores aren't really taking them anymore, I'm gonna say. They stopped taking them here years ago. I want to say, like, ten years ago or so. But if you just go on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, people are constantly selling them for cheaper, trying to get rid of them. I got this Trinitron for $20. It was across the street from my childhood home, which was insane. Um, But it was just covered in, like, like there was paint on it, and um, they didn't give a fuck about it, basically. Or know what it was. They they just literally like. And it was destiny because my. It was during work and my other buddy was like. Hey I need one of those. And I was like. If you can go get it. go Here's the address because I'm at work right now. And he couldn't find the place. And so I carried it by myself after work. It's a 27 inch. It's like gigantic. But uh. I finally moved it in here. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. it. It, like I said, it needs a little, little, little bit of work. But, um. Yeah, this one's pretty heavy. I might even need to put it on a better stand. Even though the stand I have is in on like a sturdy wooden 80s stand right now, but I might need to get another one. Oh nice, you have it in the garage. Dude, yeah, everything looks everything looks good on this TV. I think Super Nintendo looks the best. Like Super Nintendo Genesis. But, um, everything else looks good on it, too. Like, I've been playing Final Fantasy VIII on here, too, and I don't know. But again, I'm not, I'm not as picky as some other people. Like, I can, I have it multi-screened, so I have it multi-screened to my other TV, sometimes the big-ass one. And, like... It looks a little weird, but, like, it still looks playable. Like, I don't know. I don't have many friends in the CRT, so I'm glad I can chat about this stuff with you. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Anytime. 
I'm actually on, um, I was going to say on Facebook, I'm on a, there's a CRT group where people just post, like, their finds and stuff. But it makes me want to go hunting again, and it's just like, oh man, I already have, like, I've already gotten such good stuff, like, I need to calm down. Probably still in that group, I just don't check Facebook anymore. I try not to check it, but... I don't know. All my, so, all my, like, friends from high school and stuff are always on there. So it's just like, I get on, I try to get on for like 10 minutes a day or something and then kind of scroll down and then get off. Try not to get into arguments about weird Star Wars or gaming stuff. So many weeds. I should probably start planting flowers everywhere. What I should do. Yeah, lately it's mostly been people complaining, like, that other people are charging so much money for stuff, and it's like, the stuff's still out there, I don't, I don't, there's always gonna be sellers for stuff, but yeah, I need to, the more I learn about stuff, the better, because then, The more soldering skills, electronic skills I have is going to help for the future. So that way I'm able to fix all this stuff. People get tired from looking, I think. I think so too. It's the same thing with arcade games. Like, if you want to find arcade games at a decent price, you can find them. But you have to check every couple hours every day. I mean, I never had the... My problem is I don't never had the space or the money. But I mean, like case in point, just last week, somebody was getting rid of an outrun machine in my town. And I was like, ah, oh, man. Like it hurts me inside that I can't, I have no chance at that, but it's good to know that it's still out there. Like it's still an option. It was a stand up one, it wasn't the sit down one. But it was fully restored, like dude had restored the whole thing. It was it was it was beautiful, dude. He added some mod where you can like play other tracks. Like other music tracks when you're driving too. Remember I was playing this doing the same thing you didn't you rated me or something? Probably. Man, I haven't raided somebody in a while. But I've just been so busy lately that when I do stream, um, I'm trying to pick it back up, but I haven't been at the hours as I was before. But I, I have to... The thing is, instead of having... Instead of having 50 hours of meh material, I'd rather have, like... 30 hours of like decent material like because I figure sometimes I push myself too hard and I'm like falling asleep and like not like actually playing the game right wow seven years ago that's insane to think about well we knew we were in it for the long haul I mean that's that's the thing you gotta think about, like, we're not, like, doing it for some fad or something, like, this is, 
It's like my brother was telling me the other day. He's like, if you find a girlfriend, she needs to play games. He's like, because if not, it's not going to work. He's like, he's like, you can't just like switch that part of you off. That's like your life. Like you, you become dead inside when you. Do that. I know, right? I've seen some successful streamers come and go. I don't know if it's like so much pressure from that many people talking to you or. But then I've seen, I've seen the regulars still on there and stuff. I feel bad because I don't go in and talk to everybody anymore. Yeah. Ooh, a fossil. That could be. Well, shit, I mean, that happens. Like, this year I had to move. I had to move. Um, my dog. We had to take my dog to the vet to get surgery. Um, you know, after moving, you have to set everything up. I've been trying to adjust because my brother moved out with his girlfriend. So I'm pretty much by myself now. So it's like. Like life happens like that. You gotta like figure all that stuff out. Like Like earlier this week I would get home and all I wanted to do was watch Star Trek. I would put I would put Star Trek on and I would just like chill for a couple minutes. Or fall asleep because I don't know, I was like in some weird weird zone where I just needed Needed to zone out and watch some Star Trek. Goddamn weeds. Oh, are you new? No. Oh, cool. You know Buck, don't you? Well, I want you to go ask that moocher for my videotape back. Sure. Alright, where's Buck? I think he's over here, right? Yeah. Uh, I even remembered where he was at. I can't remember that guy, Stevie, Steven. I don't remember that. But I'm bad with names. I probably remember, like, his face or what his layout looked like. Yeah, 28 months. <laughs> I literally watched the dude play through all the Nice. Oh, cool, she didn't move. She'd be like, here's a wallpaper. Oh, stationary. I was close. I guess, I guess wallpaper would have been better. I mostly play shooting mumps now, but I've got it. I'm good at, gotten good at chatting while doing so. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mostly play RPGs. And, um, I guess just like chillax and stuff. I want to start streaming everything. Like, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately. My brother just got me the Bubba Fett skin today, which I was like so happy about. So now I have Vegeta and Bubba Fett, but, uh, I don't know. It's mostly just because it's like... That game is so competitive, it's more like you... I don't know. It adds extra pressure. I like to tell myself I'm a variety streamer. You have been. I mean, variety and retro. 
you've definitely i've definitely seen you play like monster world and animal crossing and shooters and uh you were playing one rpg but i don't remember what it was but you play sega stuff if anyone who plays sega stuff is a variety stream that's the badge i'm giving them because if you only play nintendo stuff you can't you can't be a variety stream oh i need to send these to the museum i guess Oh, hold on. I know it's a bad joke, but I mean, I still meet people in real life that don't play. My one buddy, he uh, he collects Sega stuff, but he only plays N64 games. Like, he collects all this stuff, but that's all he plays is 64 games. I don't... I'm always like, dude, play, play, play this game. Play this. I love Sega, but I didn't grow up with one. Oh, well, that's awesome. You're you're an you're an adopted member of the the Sega family. Now, um, we all get them at different times. I mean, I'm I'm sure everyone who everyone was um this into video games had both a Nintendo and Sega console at some point in their life. I'm a convert. <laughs> Oh shit, where's the library? Or the post office? I guess I could sell these fish. I am a fan of games. No. Yeah, I'll keep that one. I'm not, I'm not making the money today. Yeah, Nook's awesome, man. Nook's what I do in real life, work at an antique store. Only, we usually, the reason we're successful is we're selling everything for fucking like way dirt cheap more than it's. You, you gotta sell stuff for cheaper if you want it's a volume thing if you want to if you want consistent sales you have to sell things for cheaper but i don't know not everything it's 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 somewhat confusing at times stuff comes in stuff has to go yeah that too I haven't found anything super rare lately. The last two games that I set to the side were uh, Mario Land 2, because I don't have that one, and um, Star Wars on the Game Boy, which are both commons, but I've been trying to collect more Game Boy games if I find them, just because I never see them anywhere. There was a Double Dragon Game Gear, but... Um, I think it was going for 30 or 40 and I just didn't I don't have all the extra money right now. I had to I just set aside power stone on the Dreamcast, so I was like, eh. Game Boy shit lasts forever. Hells yeah. I still got on my original Game Boy the I need to I need to buy a new screen for it because the screen is bleeding, but um the plastic part came off 
I need to get like a special type of glue, but until I fix the screen, I'm not going to worry about that because it's just, it would just be annoying to have to like take it off again and put it back on. I have two game gears. I have one that stopped working a long time ago that probably needs recaps. And then I have another one that is working. But I probably need to go in there and recap those. It's just the transistors are so small. I need a fucking heat gun. And I need to build a workstation to start working on stuff like that. Yeah. I know. And it's all those little fucking tiny board ones. Oh, so that's where I was doing with my turbo graphics, my turbo duo. I recapped it enough to get it to where it was working with the carts again. I didn't get the CD working. Dude, that turbo duo, dude, the entire fucking thing. That was the worst leakage I've ever seen. It was just like gunk. It was just like this greasy gunk, like all underneath the board. Um, but I cleaned all that off and I, cause I got the complete recap kit and I was just going from thing to thing, but the onboard transistors, I need a heat gun for it cause I did one of them with the soldering iron. It fucking took like 30 minutes and like, it's kind of ghetto on there. It's still on there, but it's, just, it's like irritatingly on there. Like I want to fix it. And you don't want to do damage to the PCB. Definitely. I've seen, I saw, the only reason I'm worried about the game gears, like going through that process, is I watched a guy online, I don't remember which guy it was, but I watched him fix fucking I think like five of them in a row that didn't work. And he finally, cause he was doing a giveaway. He was going to give away the one that he fixed. And he eventually was able to get one working, but he sat there and he recapped so many of them in a row. Honestly, I just want one or 24, 27 inch tube. That'll be done collecting glass. For me, I kind of, I think I want to keep getting them just so I can give them to people. You know what I mean? Like hook people up. I I also want to get further into the fixing of things so that that way I can, um, that way I can fix any TV from like 1975 to like 1990, whatever, 2000, whatever. But, um... It's just hard, it's hard doing that kind of business. It's the same thing with PC repair. Like I can fix computers, I can do all that stuff. I can fix people's operating systems or give them software or whatever, but people don't want to pay. Like I've had ads up for years for fixing computers and I'll maybe fix like one or two a year. Like it's just not a business like that people want to like. They don't want to like pay you for it. They want to find like a friend. They, they, they almost want you to do it for free, which I mean, it's cool. Like I, I, I don't mind like fixing stuff, but it, it's also one of those things where it's like, come on, man. Like I need some food and stuff. Like I should be getting compensated for my my learning of services. I know, but then you don't, sometimes you don't get the experience because then they won't, no one hires you, you know what I mean? It's kind of like IT, you know, you gotta work in a shitty IT department before you get to a good one. <laughs> that is indeed true, my friend. That is indeed true. People do suck. I'm 
trying to think of how, how much longer I should play this before I switch to Chibi Robot. I also have been playing through um, the first Pikmin because I never got to play it, but every time I play that game, I forget. Like, that game, like, is just, like, very different in the way, like, you do things. And it takes me, like, a minute to, like, pick everything up. All right, sounds good. It is my night off, after all. I do have a strawberry rock star that I'm drinking out of a Jurassic Park cup. That could be a palm. No. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, the strawberry rock star, this one tastes like, um... The Captain Crunch things. But then I also got a bunch of Baja Blast. Because uh, the the twelve packs at my um at my grocery store were buy two get two free this this last week. Green Apple Warheads, Ghost Energy. Oh, nice. It's Ghost, 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 Ghost. He's Ghost. There's an Aesop Rock song called Ghost. That's what I think of when I see that. Me and my brother would just sing that Ghost song every time we would get those. I love Baja Blast, like, more than I should. Like, I drink that shit like water. It's not good. And then I got, so I got three 12 packs of Baja Blast, and I got one 12 pack of Voltage, because the Voltage is all, I, I love the Voltage as well. Give me something to do. I don't have a way to get you a pair. And I'm not going to another city to get you a pair. so many weeds. I've been playing um, the new uh, that new Zelda too, but I don't know. I should... I should stream it, I just, um... <clears throat> I don't know, sometimes I only play it for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, like... Kind of throw it on for a couple minutes every now and then. It's not a good fish. Paper reminds me of that Final Fantasy DS game that I always saw, but I would I never bought it. Oh, thanks for the follow. I haven't been on Twitter in like a year and a half. I appreciate it. I 
Actually, I did go in there the other day when Toriyama died. Um, let's check in some of that stuff. Kind of hit me a little hard, but... The thing is, I've lost so many people in real life that it's like, when a celebrity dies, it's sad. But, like, I've already... I don't know. I've already been through so much. I still use it to show my music stuff. Nice. Which reminds me, I, I, I need, I need to start. I have like a little, little tiny mini '80s keyboard that I'm gonna recap, and that I think I'm gonna try to make beats with. <laughs> um, it's like, it's like this small, but it has an output. <laughs> I've had it, I've had it since I was like four years old, I think. Uh, it is... It is a realistic... But, uh... I like some of the weird sounds it makes. I think my mom must have bought it from Sears in like the early 90s or something. Or shit, maybe it was Montgomery Ward even. I should. I should make an Animal Crossing song. The snapper is telling me yes. Okay. Because I really only need to practice for like a day. I've gotten so good with lyrics and stuff. I'm. I just need those beats. Oh, nice, cool. Follower emotes. It's awesome. I was making those for a while. I made a couple, like I made some Shining Force emotes and stuff. These Genesis colors, oh sweet. Which reminds me, I'll have to play through Shining Force 2 soon since I played through Shining Force 1. But I, I kinda wanna beat Final Fantasy VIII and I need to go back and beat Dragon Quest 2 because I was at the very end of it. Same thing with Fantasy Star 2, but I picked the wrong team. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be jealous. So we recently got some Genesis games in. This is like... Maybe like eight months ago, but... Here's some of the recent... Recent ones that I've got, that I've picked up. I already had Splatterhouse 3, but my buddy hooked me up with Splatterhouse 2. I have Splatterhouse 2 and 3. Plus I got Shadow Run, and then Fantasy Star 2, and then a couple others. A couple others like Might and Magic and stuff. Yeah, dude, the Genesis Shadow one is, like, way better than the Super Nintendo one. And I thought they were the same game, so I never played the Genesis one, because I always... I played the Super Nintendo one, like, way early on. But no, the Genesis one is way different. Yeah, I should stream that someday. I'm still waiting for him to translate the Sega CD one, though. The Sega CD... Shadow Run is like sick. Nice. 
gonna go sell these fish and maybe play some play some chibi robo well mostly so chibi robo was a game i saw in the magazines back in the day and i didn't have a gamecube i really wanted to play it and i should i should have bought it early on i should have because now it's ridiculously expensive but I just never thought anyone would care about it. I just thought it was, it looked like such a cool game. But that's my, one of my regrets not buying that game when it like came out. Just like I should have bought those Sega Saturn games back then, even when I didn't have a Sega Saturn, there were Sega Saturn games that were just sitting at Walmart. And I was like, but I don't have a Sega Saturn. I should have just bought them. I think they were like 20 bucks or something. Like the cat on the keyboard. Yeah, if you want to throw any beats my way. Definitely do so. Definitely. They will definitely be used. Okay, what memory card was it on? I'm gonna guess. Yeah, you always make sure to save in this game. It's 100% necessary. Okay, let me switch the memory card in the game. 